Hey everyone, MVC here with a follow-up to the Wooting 2HE review, comparing it against the GR linear switches in the G915, actually at 1.5 and bottom out at 2.7, the red Opta mechanical switches in the Huntsman, actually at 1 and bottom out at 3.5, and the Lekker switches in the Wooting, set to match that at the Huntsman, actuating at 1, bottoming out at 4, and a rapid trigger setting of 0.4, meaning it only has to bounce back 0.4 millimeters compared to 1.2 on the G915 and a massive 2.5 on the Huntsman Mini. The result though ultimately speaks for itself, where the G915 manages 25, the Huntsman Mini a measly 20, whilst the Wooting does a massive 57. Now in part, this will also be due to the debounce time, which thanks to the Hall Effect Lekker switches is less than one millisecond on the Wooting, whilst on the Logitech it's 22, and on the Razer, despite being optical, is also set to 22. And hopefully at the very least, this video may serve as an opportunity for Razer to address that in firmware in future. And whilst I can't confirm it myself, as I don't own one, I do believe in version two of the Huntsman line, Razer did add a toggle inside Synapse for gaming and typing, and when set to gaming, I am told it brings debounce time down and should address this issue. So if you do opt to pick up a Huntsman, make sure that it's version 2, which is easily identifiable by the one that supports 8000 Hz. Regardless of reason though, both the low debounce time and of course rapid trigger is going to help you set up for angles in games like CS and Valorant when you're defending bomb sites, and I hope it's something you consider for your next gaming keyboard. Anyway, I hope you've appreciated this short and sweet video. Make sure if you haven't already to watch the full review found in the video description. But for now, take care, keep gaming, and I'll see you in the next video.